Let's do something a bit more ambitious, acquiring color data for an astro image. When we logged in, we noticed the dome was closed. So let's open it. In the observing menu, right next to the single image form, is a color series form. That's what we'll use. We'll be imaging NGC 2372, the Gemini Nebula. Fetch the coordinates from ACP's Deep Sky Catalog. And we can see that it's 15 minutes away from transit but we're unconcerned about meridian crossings. Fill in our images. Add another row for H alpha. This row had memorized data from a previous run. And yes, this adds up to over nine hours of imaging, but this is just a demo. We could also specify autofocus and dithering options, as well as automatic sky flats. But let's just get going. Note how simple and compact the observing plan is. Let's watch what's going on. It's slewing to the target and doing a pointing update to precisely center the target. There's the pinpoint plate solution and it's starting the guider. This observatory has an external guider so it'll be left running across all images in all colors. In a later video, we'll see how ACP handles a rotated camera with an internal guider. Starting the first exposure. Almost done. There. Plate solving and adding WCS to our image. And there's the preview. Notice the guider's still running. And we're starting the second image. This process will continue now for the entire plan. Now we can log off and go to bed. It's the next day now, so let's see how the run went. To do that, we'll look at last night's run log. A run log is a document, so we'll go to My Documents where you can access your images, plans, and run logs. As usual, logs are organized into night folders. Open the folder and there's our log. Let's have a look. While we're at it, let's have another look at the plan that was generated by the color series form. Notice that compared to the original plan we saw when we started the run, there are two new lines. 
These are added by ACP so it can resume the run in case it was interrupted for any reason. If it's restarted, the plan will resume where it left off. No images will be missed. Traditionally, Astra imagers would sit on a target all night like this. But this isn't the best way to do things because so much of your data will get acquired at low altitudes. Using ACP's multiple target capability, you can set up an early, mid, and late target, then run over several nights, and get all of your data high in the sky where the seeing is best. We'll learn about this in a later video.